everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video I wanted to jump in and talk about some survey questions that the JP side of the game had received at the end of the 7 year anniversary. And let me tell you something, some of these questions really could be a highlight to what we can expect in the future with future updates to version Z or just simply updates in general to the game that we could possibly uh, end up getting on the global side of things. So, uh, look, taking a look here, uh, this is thanks to uh, Luca Dokon. He had posted these questions up, so thank you very much, Luca. Um, but otherwise, we'll just go ahead and jump in. So this question right here, number 13, please tell us what you want from the Legendary Advent, including the Summit and Legendary Advent in the future. Um, Legendary Advent, uh, I'm guessing, I'm not exactly sure what that is, the, the events, something. But when you come down here and actually look at some of the questions, I want to strengthen it and strengthen the performance of the featured character at the same level as the Dokkan Festival. So, apparently, I'm thinking this, this is either like LGE or maybe the... Uh, Extreme Z Awakening challenges, or maybe the the boss battles, the Red Zone, I think is what they're calling it. Um, it could be something like that. So that's that's pretty interesting the way that they've got that worded. Um, the next one is I want more LR characters to pick up. So hey, we could always love to get more LRs, right? Uh, I want to pick up characters that are easy to organize with the characters of the Dokkan Festival. Uh, um, the next one is I want to, you to improve the mechanism of the gacha itself. This is a big one. I want added value like the t free 10 cons uh, consecutive gotchas at the Dokkan Festival. Um, so, that's pretty interesting. I mean, like, are, are they talking about, could we possibly end up seeing a actual, um, uh, like, a, oh, geez, a pity system. So, I mean, I think that's something that we could really end up seeing and, and have that could potentially be coming our way, which I know... Me, myself, and a ton of other people would be super excited about. Um, then it actually jumped over to uh, another question, question 25. Please tell me how to play Dokkan Battle in the future. I want a battleground where I can use various characters, so something probably similar to Battlefield, but something that's a little bit bigger, grander in scale, different ways to maybe be doing some of the stuff. Uh, the next one was, I want to add more high difficulty events to uh, to battle the prepared stronger animal uh, enemy, excuse me. So basically, more difficult events to, to basically get ready. Uh, and then I want to fight a team made up by another person that you will actually play, or I want to compete with teams made up by other people. So someone else, uh, you're going to actually go against their teams, like maybe like in a race or something in that uh, aspect. I want to collaborate with others in real time, and I want to uh, cooperate and synchronously with other people. I think that's kind of a little bit more, again, like like somebody has a leaderboard and you try to beat their leaderboard in general. Um, I think all those things are all very, very interesting. Um, you could choose multiple answers uh, on this one, but, but definitely kind of highlights a few different things. The very next question was, please tell us what you would like us to prioritize in the future of Dokkan Battle. You can choose up to three. Now, these are the major updates. This is probably the biggest part. Repair the friend system support function. Please, dear God Almighty, I hope everybody selected this one. And the global will get these same questions, so I hope everybody's going to be selecting that one. Renovation of the Extreme Z area. I don't think that's a necessity. It would be kind of cool, but, you know, at the same time, it, it kind of is what it is, and it's a nice little feature. Um, Extreme Z battle refurbishment. I think the way that they set up the ref, uh, everything now is pretty good. I mean, you get 33 free stones and being able to go through 30 levels to be able to do that. I do kind of like the 10 levels and a harder difficulty level, uh, but but still pretty good. The renovation of the uh, Taniki, Taniki, uh, Taniki Chai Budokai. Um, I am horrible with, with trying to pronounce things sometimes. Uh, basically, that's World Tournament. So, to basically revamp for World Tournament. Explosive Chain Battle Refurbishment. That would be nice, but at the same time, it's kind of one of those things, it is what it is. I think they just need to explain how to actually, like, what actually links, what actually matters. Uh, refurbishment of the Virtual Dokkan Battle. I think it is, it's, it's okay with what it is now. Addition or renovation, renov <laughs> renov renovation, I am horrible right now, I'm sorry guys. Addition or renovation of Adventure Dokkan Story, that's Quest Mode, and then Patan Battle Refurbishment, or others. So, uh, then... You, you could go through, you could select whichever three you want. Personally, I think the repair system needs to be number one. World Tournament, probably number two. And then addition 
um, or renovation of the Adventure Dokkan Story or the Quest Mode. I think those would be my top three that I would like to see. Um, and really, that would really kind of set things up. I mean, really, the only other thing that I would like them to do is I would probably select Other, and that would be the pity system. I think we absolutely need to get a pity system in here because, I mean, you're, you're constantly hearing about people spending hundreds and uh, thousands of stones and not getting anything uh, really for it. And, and that's really sad. You should be able to at least get the featured unit or at least be able to use the red coins right away to be able to pick it up at a premium price. Um, and then of the answers given above, which one do you think is the highest priority? So that's where you kind of turn around and say, okay, which one do you think is the most important? I personally would eat, would say the friend system. I mean, that's that's got to be number one for everybody. Um, the world tournament's nice. You know, that's something that is, is refurbished. They could keep coming back uh, more and more times. The only reason why I would probably put that second ahead of the quest mode is that once you beat the quest mode, you're done. I mean, there's nothing you can really do more of that. Uh, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see what ends up balancing around from there. But otherwise, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to go through and, and highlight uh, some of these and uh, let you know that, hey, they are real serious about trying to make things better for us. And, and that is always wonderful to see. So um, otherwise, guys, we're going to go and wrap it up and call it a video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you go down, hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I'm uploading a new video. And please, down in the comments below, let me know what you think are the top three things that you would want to see out of this list that would potentially really improve the game and what do you think is your number one. Um, but otherwise, that's it. That's going to be today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.